I call myself a reformed introvert. Full on anxiety attacks in school, didn't have a whole lot of friends. After we started the band, that became this armor that I could kind of put on because I'm Lizzie Hale. I'm in a band called Hailstorm. This is part of my identity. As a grown adult with a musical career, that is a shelter for those who don't feel like they belong, the weirdos, the freaks. So it became a source of pride for me to be my truest self, as hard as sometimes that can be, which relates a little bit to my imposter syndrome. Lizzie Hale, rock star character, up on stage, in control of her life. They're not gonna see that. She's not as smart as she thinks she is. Barely made it out of high school. I know today is gonna be the day that they all find me out. And a lot of times I have to say, no, you are a part of this and worthy of being here. Anxiety, it's very swift with me. When I have an anxiety attack, it usually starts with some type of spiraling out. I have a couple tools in my tool belt that, that I use to kind of get myself out of that spiral. A lot of times I will look for a voice of reason and they will tell me, this fear that you have right here doesn't exist. I'll grab any number of notepads that I have and I'll literally just vent it out to paper and to be able to see it in a physical form really helps put those irrational fears into perspective. And then a lot of those irrational fears end up in a song somewhere. <laughs> Our song, Raise Your Horns, I wanted to write a song about my mental health journey that you can work through things that you thought were impossible. So raise your horns. Give yourself permission to live your life the way that you want to live your life. So this was one of those songs that I was writing it as a pep talk for me. But then as soon as we play it live, you just see the place just go up. Being a mental health advocate really just means that I'm an ally. I'm very grateful to be in a position where, whether it's my good, my bad, or the ugly, if I can make somebody think a little bit differently in a positive way, about themselves, because all of those things that I thought were wrong about me, all of those things now are some of the most beautiful parts of me and the bravest parts of me. And I've turned something that could have been so negative and plagued me my entire life, and I've turned it into my superpower. Own your weird, own everything that makes you different. There'll be a certain point you own it enough and you believe it enough. There'll be a certain point in time where everybody will be talking about those specific things as your most beautiful asset.